and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some rotation proof Esper control. Uh, we had some people asking for Esper control here with rotation proof, so so I'm bringing it here, even though I'm not usually the biggest Esper player, but let's see what we got. So obviously the biggest thing that, that Esper control is losing, of course, is Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. That's a, a huge blow to the deck. Um, so you see instead, um, since we're, we don't have the Hero of Dominaria um, at the top end, I got a Bola Citadel and a couple of Ugins. This is what we're using for the top end. Um, besides that, and then our mana base, which is pretty rough having to play three Tranquil Coves, four Dismal Backwaters, the four Temple of Silence. So we have 11 tap lands. That's also very rough. That's kind of it for, for Esper. It's really those two things. Um, our like One of our very first uh, rotation-proof decks that we did was Esper Hero, um, maybe even the very first one. So if you go over to the Rotation Proof playlist, you can find the Esper Hero one pretty quickly. And I was pretty impressed by that deck. Uh, and so this is you know similar, but we're getting rid of Hero of Precinct 1 um, and instead going more control uh, with it, with Kaya's Wrath in the main deck and everything. Um, I would like, to, you know, like Cast Down's kind of better than Scorn. We got Scorn here. Um, but yeah, like basically we, we have like some, some good defense. We have some good life gain. I think what we may struggle with is actually turning the corner and, you know, winning in the long game. Even if we like this deck does a pretty good job of like stabilizing early. It's just, can we turn the corner and end the game fast enough? Um, I think Ugin's better than Liliana. So I, ha I have Ugin's. I like Ugin. Basically, I like U yeah. I like I like both of these six mana cards more than Liliana. Um, this I had a, a second Bola Citadel in here for a while. That was my very last cut when I, I had sixty one, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to cut, and I had two Citadel, and I dropped the the second Citadel. That was my very last cut uh, from the main deck here. Uh, sideboard, I got, I'm got. i playing a command in the sideboard instead of second cit citadel. I have a couple Enter the God Eternals against aggro. Um, and then you can see we got we still got Unmoored Ego in the format. Um, there's there's a lot of still there's still a lot of good situational cards in the Esper color. So just it's just like hammering down uh, the best um, options. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, Lil there really isn't anything wrong with Liliana, besides she's not that great in control mirrors because you know she doesn't remove planeswalkers like Ugin does or anything. But yeah, Ugin just makes creatures. That's true, and Liliana's ultimate can win. But also, Ugin destroys permanents, including planeswalkers. Which planeswalkers can be difficult to deal with, and Ugin does that. You know, without having to ferry, you know, you you'd have like to ferry to tuck other planeswalkers, but without to ferry to tuck planeswalkers, they they can be difficult to deal with. Um, but yeah, let's give this a try. Let's see how it does. <clears throat> Our other two uh, rotation proof decks have both looked really good. But I did play like three slow decks here for the Rotation Proof Monday this week, which wasn't like the, the best idea, especially with them going six matches each. <laughs> so we are getting laid into the stream when we're just starting the Esper Control deck, which if we're picking up a lot of wins, that could be rough. We could have a late stream tonight. The Elves, elves won't take very long. We're playing best of one Elves. That'll be fun. But best of one's always a little shorter. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll have maybe just all of our opponents will be like, uh, yuck, Esper, I don't want to play this, and then they just can see you right away. And then we win. Sorry, Hawkeye, I know that's your favorite place to sit. But it's right in front of the screen where I can't see.
All right, so Temple of Silence is like pretty easy to play right here. I think like most people would play Temple of Silence, but look at our hand. We have four lands and three spells. Our hand is perfectly fine. Like, let's say you get any like any reaction spell on top. Do you keep it? Do you put it to the bottom? It's so hard to tell what to do whenever we don't know what we're playing against. So I want to wait uh, to scry until we at least know what we're playing against. So we can have, you know, really want to have that information. So we can make a well-informed scry. All right, two mana creatures down. Unfortunately, Dovin's Veto doesn't look to be doing very much over here. So Othakaya does kill the Krasis. But we're already, like, getting farther ahead. I think we want to start looking for our... Like, we've already basically stabilized. I think we want to start looking for our six mana cards or something that draws cards, basically. Uh, we can wait on that. I don't really need to cast that thing right now. See, that's a better thing to, to kill. <clears throat> I guess I could... Nah. It's the same, like, maybe we just... Maybe we draw Kaya's Wrath. We'll just play this thing, though. My prowess. Just the trick for this. What's up, lands? Alright, so we got six lands at the bottom. We know the bottom six cards are all lands. <coughs> Sloppy technique. So that means we've gone through twelve lands so far and they just want to make Kaya's wrath really good you are a mighty warrior I can see Practice home your prowess. And obviously we can bounce out the Kaya and then kill Deputy next turn, get the, the bell haunt back. I won't forget our time together. Sorry I'm late. This might be a bad idea. Make them discard this last card, which is probably a land. Ah, another deputy. And we found the Citadel. <laughs> Othakaya is pretty absurd. Oh no. I protect that which cannot protect itself. That's a good card. And I had my Dovin's Veto unavailable. This is hardly my worst defeat.
Glad they didn't draw Krasis. Behold, nature's true power. We're gonna sit down on the keyboard, okay? The focused and disciplined encounter no obstacles. I must go. This is fair. Citadel is a completely balanced magic card. Keep an open mind. Completely fair and balanced magic card. My presence alone will guide you to Ethan itself serves me. <laughs> it's fun and interactive. Oh man, Othakaya gives you so much life. Okay. There's six mana, I win the game. Alright, so Bant stuff. We definitely want this other Kaya's Wrath. Want this to spark. I want this Noxious Grasp, the Legion's End. Uh, Command the Dreadhorde isn't looking bad. Yeah, let's run it, let's run it. So that's 65... We don't really have anything that's bad, per se. I mean, even like the Dovin's Veto, I don't mind. They probably have they probably have Teferi, though. I guess we cut the Dovin's Veto. Um, it's kind of the problem. I, I like these four drops, you know, just gaining life and, and sitting there. Like, we saw, like, Belhaunt just played really good defense. Guard Mage doesn't play as good a defense. Well, we can cut We can trim a Guard Mage. Um, 63 now. Maybe I don't play all three Legion's Ends. Alright, 62. Um. I don't know. Maybe just maybe another guard mage or a narset. Is he taking out a narset? Let's get this mortify back in here. They're mortified creatures. They have like very large creatures like cavalier thorns. That's hard to kill. A lot of Bantex play Shalai. Shalai can be hard to kill. Yeah, they could have Ceratops. Good call. Yeah, they could have Prison Realm also. Yeah, Ceratops and Prison Realm. Those are... Very reasonable cards for our opponent to have. So we do, we do already know what we need to scry for. We need to scry for spells, so that's a good time to play the Temple of Scrylance. That was pretty nice being able to Thought Erasure that Frilled Mystic last game. That was a great turn three, turn four for them. I guess they got Krasis left. The perfects. 
<laughs> you're welcome, Rex. Glad, yeah, glad you're liking the path of metal deck. Yeah, path metal is pretty cool. All right, GGs. I would have rather, or you know, I would have liked to be able to kill Nissa, but kind of got to get that thing out of here because it's nine power. All right, Yud, have a good night. Just a Risen Reef, as far as Command the Dread Horde is concerned. have like too much life. I can't really like command Nissa's and Ugin and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean if we just draw Kaya's Wrath, I mean there's four Kaya's Wraths in the deck. We just we gotta draw one like basically now. They could have just killed me if they would have just attacked me. I really should be playing this other Legion's End. We don't really see big creatures there. Alright, maybe we take out Mortify. We'll play this other Legion's End instead. Be a little faster. Oh, How does command? The command didn't look good there. It's basically command's good after we already stabilize. But like once we stabilize, I don't know. Maybe we're doing okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take the command out. Get a elite garbage back in. I don't know. Risen reefs are good, and like my stuff's good. Like my Teferis and things. But yeah. We'll get rid of it. Ugh. Land drops are good. World Mystic's so rough. Okay, well, that was a 
Perfect turn one draw with the Thought Erasure and then getting rid of a land. Not perfect turn two or turn three draws with drawing more lands. Though. What's up, Zerv? It's going good. Our rotation proof Monday decks have been playing well today. Going good. I feel like they're supposed to shock there and then attack for one. Like, wouldn't they want to trade two of their life for one of mine? It is some big time pressure there. When you understand reality, Eight nines, no joke. My plans do not include you. Unfortunately, I don't have any other removal. Our top card's probably like Tyrant Scorn. We could have just played the Citadel. So we get to draw two, gain two. <laughs> oh, the top card was Tyrant Scorn. Lame. Every exploit ripples through time. Be mindful. Secrets manifest before you. Playing with fire here. They're shocking in. I got Krasis for six now. Can't beat a second crisis right now. Your quest is futile. Yeah, I could have, could have Kaiser out there and gained some life, I suppose. This land, we are all connected. Harness the elements. Yeah, X counts as zero for Tyrant. Yeah, whenever creatures are on the battlefield, the X is always zero when they're on the battlefield.
Ugin does work pretty well with the Citadel, of course. You know, like like this turn, you know, like you see a land, you can tick up, get rid of it. Ah, uh, dang it. Uh, that's fine. Hmm. So they have Citadel, or okay, let's see. They have Ceratops. I need Bell Haunt back. Because Guard Mage, the Guard Mages can't block Ceratops. So I don't want to just die to a Shifting Ceratops. We don't. We can't use it at all, right? Yet? Yeah, no, we can't use it yet. Sack 10 non land permanents. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 non land permanents. Witness the ties that bind us all. Rise, my elemental friend. Oh, that thing was attacking too? For some reason I thought that thing added mana. Oh well. Alright, Citadel still pretty busted. <laughs> Our rotation proof decks are beating the regular decks today. Looking good. Yeah, because you know, like we were at like three life there at the end. I guess two life after the land where all hit us. But yeah, I don't know how many gain life lands I played. I played at least two gain life lands. All right, turn four Kai's Wrath is what I'm going for.
Man, Vivian's so cool. I feel bad. I like my opponent's deck more than our deck. But, unfortunately, these cool green creatures have a four mana wrath to deal with in the format. Alright, well that's going to be a problem. That's going to get a lot of GCGs here. That was a really good card to, to draw, honestly. You know, just the four toughness. That's real. Um, I mean, because obviously I can score in one, but then it's like... Just that we're in this exact same scenario next turn. Meditate and prepare. Yep. <laughs> Can't help but root for the green deck. My mind needs a rest. I was hoping to find Kaya's Wrath. Still just kind of leaves us in the same scenario, though. Consideration. I was considering like the different iterations of like just waiting and trying to kill this and not letting them get the other growth chamber guardian, but n none of it really works. <laughs> yeah, Legion's End. That that was the card that I needed. I guess kind of forgot about Legion's End. That that was the I card I needed. Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. All right. Well, that's. We need to draw land here <laughs> or removal. Stop Either removal for this time. or land. That'll work. Um. Go double Othakaya, save Ugin for next turn. They could have a... I don't know like what they have in their sideboard, but they could have some kind of creature... Like uh, Carnage Tyrant, Vine Mary, even Ceratops. This will be fun to watch. For that minus five. I came into being long before you I don't want to deal with that. So far. Is unwritten. And we're back up to 13. The path for the thoughtfulness before action. Well, that Growth Chamber Guardian put up put up a good fight. That's for sure. We got we got pretty lucky with the back to back draws of the lands, like land five, land six. I definitely needed that land five, land six there. Hmm. 
Don't know if they'll have anything else to really to spark. Uh, they probably have null hide. Yeah, they're probably going null hide. I think. The thing is, is I kind of think that our opponent's playing a bunch of vine mares. Vine mares really tough. Maybe I don't want Citadel in this matchup. Not sure what else I take out from here. Maybe the Narsets. Yeah, I've been seeing a bunch of Vine Mares in these kind of lists too. And as as, as you can tell, like Vine Mare requires Kaya's Wrath. Which I guess Vine Mare is a reason to be playing Command the Dread Horde though, so we can just take some green creatures to block. It's not a bad idea. I don't know. Enter the Guide Eternals is pretty slow. Now let's take out a Guard Mage. I know Guard Mage can block also, but it doesn't block very effectively, just being a 2 3. Yeah, I suppose Bell Haunt's pretty poor against, against Null Hide. Yeah, it's a. Teferi can be meant like Teferi basically bounces Othakai. Like that's it's like Teferi gets you more Othakaya, and then they attack Teferi and you gain life. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing there. Negate. They gotta have negate like they didn't play anything, right? And they didn't attack. Huh. Another negate? That's rude. They're down to one card. Yeah, Legion's End was just in the, the last set that was just printed, so yep, it's rotation proof. Every every card that, that I'm playing in my deck is rotation proof. <laughs> they had third negate. Three negate, three pelt collector. Who's the Stompy deck now? Us. Boom. Okay, never mind you. Never mind, not us. Please don't grow these pot collectors. Yay. Um. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you.
I've seen too many species die already. <laughs> Stomping time. All right, so we're at 21. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus four is 13, plus four is 17. Negative 13, victory. The old negative 13 victory. The old negative 13 victory. It's the lucky number. Triskaidekaphobia was in play. Uh, basically, our yeah, our opponent conceded immediately. Like our opponent conceded, and for some reason, it it doubled the amount of life lost that it was saying. But the game was over. My opponent conceded. So it it was like a it was a glitch there. It said the wrong number. I was not actually going to negative thirteen, obviously. But yeah, whenever they conceded it, it was like I was losing thirty four life instead of seventeen. It's like it was like minus seventeen twice happened. Getting rid of the Narsec is Narsec doesn't help you hit land drops. It can find Narsec can find a spell or two, but not lands. And we need lands. So getting rid of the Narset. The Teferis can slow our opponent down. Same with Guard Mage. Land. I want to have a little bit more information before I play this Legion's End. For example, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Dreadhorde Arcanist really doesn't do anything with Teferi in play, though. So if I Teferi tick up, I can Lightning Strike to kill Teferi. So they got Adelie's. Minus Adelie's kills to fairy. That's okay. Let's Got the backup to fairy. The problem, I mean, we could have played guard mage, but then they just unsummon guard mage on end step. We let him use that that mana then. Only time will tell. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I needed a yeah. So the question is in Chandra Tribal, why am I playing Bedeck over Jaya's Greeting? Is because I need a card that killed a Danta Vanguard, and Bedeck does that. The red spells don't kill a Danta Vanguard. I couldn't really just not be able to kill a Danta Vanguard at all. I know my responsibility. Here we go. Suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Hmm. Backup Adelies. Backup Adelies. So getting Othakaya down so that uh, if they attack Narset, we gain life, or you know attack Ugin, you know either one. But probably going Narset next turn, looking for Kaya's Wrath, and holding up Dovin's Veto. Oh, the old double scry top. Not ideal. Scorn's a good one. I'll help protect Narset also. This is probably where all these lands that we haven't seen lands in a little while. I have just the trick for yep. this. Found the lands. <laughs> I'm feeling feeling okay about this. The the double scry top is a concern. If we can get rid of Adelie's though, one threes aren't. Very troublesome. This was if I try to Tyrant Score and Adelie's, they bounce Adelie's, and then Adelie's pumps the power of these other two. I could like wait till my turn to be able to Tyrant Scorn plus on plus Veto. That's all good. Hopefully draw land. Hooray.
Um, probably just pass. I'm gonna try to kill Adelise. Yeah, it's been a long stream already. Going with the three control decks. Not exactly ideal. together but that's all right it's been a fun night our decks have been pretty fun they're doing well mm. I have six lands right now in play I don't want to cast that. What's going on here? <laughs> it's like, you should cast this card. Cast this one. Cast this one. I don't want to. It's like, no, cast it. Cast it. Alright, Decree, Duress, Legion's End, Veto maybe. The Sparks out here. Um, Grasp is out of here. Do you want to average at best guard mage? Bellhaunt. Bellhaunt doesn't do a ton of blocking. Them having the flyers and everything. Problem with this extra Kaya's Wrath. I do need to worry about a whole bunch of burn spells killing me. Hopefully. Hmm. Let's just get rid of these Narsets. And a Guard Mage. Let's do that. Yeah, Rankler, happy Memorial Day. Or Labor Day. Yeah, Memorial's in, yeah. Yeah, it's Labor Day. Memorial is the one earlier in the year. Labor Day is this weekend. All right, Double Scry Land will help us find other lands. And why with the Twitch Prime sub? Is that Storm Count 11? Have I been behind? I guess I've been behind. Well, I'll go with, with uh, MTG bot. I guess we're actually already hit that sub goal, and we're now going towards the next. Are you a land? All right, you're a land. I'll keep you. Thanks, wife. 
Are you a land? You're not a land. I don't keep you. It's America's favorite new game show. Are you a land? If you are, you stay on top. If you're not, you go to the bottom. All right, getting rid of the thing that says draw three. So get, gonna get rid of the three for one. Would you like to use your negate? No. Yeah, one mana, three, three haste. What is this? I want to draw another blue source before trying like Teferi, uh, Bounce, Icon, Discard. Obviously they have the negate, they could stop that too. Though. I thought I had two bell haunts. I guess these are all Kai's rats, huh? Hawkeye's kind of in the way. I guess this is just going to get negated anyway. Like Teferi would get negated, so we'll just have Thought Erasure get negated. isn't a fight you can win. Trust me, I have a plan. We'll see if my opponent plays another plays another creature, hopefully. Well, that one kills Teferi. I was hoping a creature on the ground that didn't kill Teferi. Like another Arcanist or something. Um... This icon is going to be difficult to... Uh, Outgrind. I don't have a lot of things to get rid of this icon of ancestry. It's only a matter of time. What's up, Midnight Slayer? You have got to get that sub. Get rid of those ads. Yeah, this is the second time I've played against this uh, wizard deck. And the other time I played against it, Icon of Ancestry was awesome also. And it, it was... Very impressive the last time I played against it. I'm looking for another discard spell. Just cry two to the top again. That's lucky.
They're playing Immortal Sun. Okay, I really can't see the screen. Ugh. Well, I guess we gotta play some Disparks. I don't know. Yeah, God Eternals can do some work too. The thing is, I have, I have too many cards I want to play. That's that's not the problem. I want to play the Narsets. I want to play the the Enter the God Eternals. I want to play this Guard Mage. I have to get rid of cards though. Too many cards I want to play. I'm not playing anything on turn two anyway. I guess we could draw we could have drawn Thought Erasure, I guess. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to scry on this second turn. Alright, so we already know we have a fifth land, so let's put this one down to the bottom. Couple easy scry to the bottoms. All right, countered that thing that I need to counter. Let's see if they have another. So should I kill Arcanist or Stormkin? I guess Stormkin. Flies. I don't know, Arcanist gets to recast this shock and can kill my blocker. The only thing Arcanist can do is recast the shock in their hand. That's a good draw. Amazing how much better your cards line up when you're on the play. Recklessness and fear. Oh. 
he I was kind of on the draw though. Like I, I played it a half turn slow every single time. Like I, I played like tap lands in every single turn. I, like I don't, I don't, never shocked a single time here. I played a tap land every single turn. Right? Yeah, I don't think I ever shocked. Did they? I didn't see what they did with the uh, Omni speaker. Probably just scribe to the top, like always. Truth lies beyond vision. These life gain lands helping out. That's the card that, that they have that beats me. They have one card that like it's really hard for me to deal with. So I I did bring in a couple of the sparks at least. Yeah, I brought in I brought in some disparks. This thing's just a 2-4. No, I should just kill it. I should just killed it before they before they draw like negate or something. I mean that's a it's a pretty good card, but we need to find a spark. <laughs> yeah, are you? That's the new the new game show. Are you to spark? If not, see ya. The couple of times that I've played the wizard deck, I play wizard. I I've really struggled with this matchup. However, the version that I was playing did not have Icon of Ancestry and it did not have Immortal Sun. Those two cards were awesome, especially Immortal Sun. Yeah, this is kind of like the Immortal Gruel deck that people had for a while. But I, I like this version that they're playing a lot better against removal heavy decks. Um, you know, with all this scrying and everything, like this, this is better than just the all out aggro version of Wizards that I, that I played. The spark.
All right. Two and one. GG's, Immortal Sun. GG's. Good news with the rotation proof deck, you don't have to worry about Immortal Sun. Next format. That card is rotating out. Sorry to hear about that, Gruel. Sorry to hear about that. All right, good looking hand. If we got to hit land drops, we'll see if we do. So plan versus Grixis. Citadel, likely one of our very best cards. But we have to get till six and not have it get thought erasured. Oh, I could have played Narset there. I probably should have played Narset. Should have just played this last turn. Those who cannot proceed beyond the but honestly, we, we drew Godless Shrine, so it worked out. Because that's what. Because I was gonna say that we need black mana sources anyway to get Such to Citadel. So. Hone your prowess. That works. All will bow before me called Bolas. I have other plans. That is true, they play Bedevil. I have other schemes to attend to. So yeah, they, they certainly have removal for it. <laughs> yeah, that's some lore right there, to sparking Nicobolus. But yeah, we already got rid of a Bedevil and a Rampage, so that's good. Those are two artifact removal spells. I like seeing those gone. I'm known for my excellent timing. Don't worry, I got this. All right, three artifact removal spells gone from hand. All right, we'll play the Bell Hunt where we have Danny DeVito available to counter like another Planeswalker. Probably like six mana Chandra now. Tilt. <laughs> Still. And one of those two spells was the fourth artifact removal. 
Anyone who stands in my way Ugh. is getting sizzled. <laughs> no pressure. Gross. And we know we're drawing this Legion's End. Is the game plan just attack? Right right now that's my game plan is attack. Well that's spicy. We have we have like another to spark. We got Ugin. Let's get toasty. Ugh. Okay, jeez, enough. Ah. If you want to fight, you got it. Right on schedule. Guess I wish I would have played that Othakai last turn. We would have finished off Chandra this turn, so we would have one less. We would have had one less emblem, plus I would have been able to keep up Danny DeVito this turn. <laughs> Well, if you make it to the inferno. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. What a warm It actually worked out cuz now we have enough to finish off Chandra the second Chandra. We would not have had enough to finish off second Chandra. All right, let's do this thing. So it works out. For me. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're, hmm. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? I've got time. Fresh out of fuel. All right. Anybody ready for fourth Chandra? Fourth Chandra? All right. Wasn't fourth Ch Chandra? I'll protect you. Should be good. Oh, the Kai is pretty messed up. We did it. Not enough Chandra emblems. Was I still at like 20? Something like that. We were over 20. <laughs> All right, grasp and scorn. All right, what do I want to play out here? I gotta play one of these cards. I'm thinking playing a Kaya's Wrath, a Scorn, or an Enter the God Eternals. Um, I'm not playing Ego. I'm not playing Ego in a Control Mirror. So they could have, you know, like War Boss. That kind of thing. Like we're having a Kaya's Wrath could be nice. Um, Scorn can kind of do that too, but can also bounce my my creatures. Enter the God Eternal, same thing, but against four mana Nicol Bolas. Enter, enter the God Eternals kills four mana Nicol Bolas. Not sure which one of these three I want to play. I think a Scorn. 
I think I think I want a, a cheap removal spell for Thief of Sanity and, and Legion War Boss. I guess Othakaya is that though. I guess that is Othakaya, so maybe I should maybe I should have just played Enter the God Eternals because that kills four mana bolus. Yeah, Scorn is flexible, though. True. Or Grixis. Don't have access to all these really good white X cards. White, black, white, blue. Decree scries one, Dispark doesn't. Decrees is sorcery, Dispark's an instant. I take Dispark. Do they have like Narset? Uh, we're gonna have to see Wake. I don't. I think shard shard mana should be a lot better after Throne of Eldraine. I train every day. Meditate and prepare. Hmm. Get that scry in there. Good scry. So yeah, after Throne of Eldraine, I expect Shard Man to be a lot better. Like, yeah, like we will. Um, ugh, should have taken Tyrant Scorn. We saw the Tyrant Scorn. Reckless and ill refined. Put thoughtfulness before action. There are so many mysteries to uncover. I have just the trick for this. That war boss is a good draw. It's gonna be a tough one. I shall miss your company. Wow, another good draw. That's gonna be really difficult to beat also. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. We'll have to bounce Thought Erasure it. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Which means I don't get to bounce this other 2-2, which is what I wanted to bounce. Should get Field of Ruined. I would have Field of Ruined 100% if I was the opponent. How quickly I topped that card. 
That was the easiest field of ruin ever. I'm tapped out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I kept in a cheap removal spell for War Boss, but it wasn't a sweeper, though. But we can adjust. We won game one. I could I can replace Tyrant's Corn with Kaya's Wrath. I really Easy enough. Seen that coming. This deck has a ton of Othakaya's also. Um Yeah. Obviously, they have four mana Nickel Bolas. Makes me discard. This is bad, but you know, basically got a, a card draw. Turned a Razor into a card draw. Hopefully, they brick. That's not a brick. We want to we want to draw Ugin. Ugin's like our best card to draw. Be able to just tick up, make some two twos to, to block these things. Very well. It's not bad. Thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. So six mana, kill a two two draw card. Plus gain two life. And deal two damage to the opponent. Now what? until I have more mana. I've seen them have a spell pierce so far. One more mana, I can play Ugin with Counterspell Backup. We're getting rid of this war boss one goblin at a time. I need some kindling. And you look flammable enough. <sighs> I kind of crashed and burned here. Hope it's not too hot for you. Basic land. I am ancient and wise. Heed to my advice. The fabric of the multiverse obeys. All right, we need to get this 2-2 to die. Wow, really? All right, so what I think we learned was six mana Chandra, not that great. 
compared to Ugin. Much better. Uh, basically, 0% chance there's going to be emblem removal mechanic. Less than 1% chance, I would say. I mean, it's obviously not zero, nothing zero, but less than 1%. <laughs> no. Chandra Tribal is awesome, though. You get all the other cool Chandras. And you get Regulator. Gotta get Double Emblem. Yeah, the... There's an emblem, the emblem removal button's right over here. That's how you remove emblems. You can do it anytime. If you ever have an emblem you want to get rid of, you hit this little wheel that's right behind, right behind my camera here. Ah. Thanks, Moxie. All right, we need uh, spells. Are you a spell? No. Going to the bottom. Blood was my beginning, and it will be your end. House Markov grows stronger. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What's up, Shame? Thanks for that resub. All right. Well, if I Oath of Kaya the Soren, I die. If I Oath of Kaya the Legion Lieutenant, I take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't quite die. I can go to like one. Yeah, I wanted to Kaya Soren and then Wrath next turn, but if I Kaya Soren, I was just taking lethal. All right, well, I went to three because they didn't activate Soren. If they would have activated Soren, I would have been basically dead. But or if they would have like sacked a vampire, all right, they had a vampire. All right, decree Legion's end. Wrath. We need some God Eternals to enter and help us out. All right, here we go. Three and one. Let's see if we can beat the vampire duck. Is this our? I think this is our first time playing against vampires today. Well, didn't I take the spark out of the deck? Thought I did. I thought I did. So there's a chance that we lose. We don't play any lands. Hmm. 
I think there's a better chance. Basically, I think this hand can win. And so, it's really weighing our chances of drawing lands versus... Uh, our chances of mulling to five and winning on five cards. Unfortunately, there's two Sorens. I really wanted to Thought Erasure away Soren, but there's a second Soren. That's lethal. I don't mind my keep there. That's just... That's just as aggressive as vampires can possibly be, both games. Um, you know, one drop, and then Lord on two, and then Soren putting in... And then turn three, Soren putting in uh, Sanctum Seeker. There isn't a better turn one, one, two, three than that. So that's okay. Um, we'll take that loss. It happens, but yeah. So that's rotation proof Esper control. I have to say, overall, pretty, pretty impressive. Still. Um, Ugin, Bola Citadel, those two cards were awesome at the top end. And obviously, you know, Teferi, Othakaya doing their thing. Just incredibly good. I was I was very pleased with Guard Mage and Bell Hunt. I was pleased with both of those cards. Um, but there we go. Alright, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And leave a comment. I always like seeing the comments down in the channel on all the videos. Uh, but thanks for watching Esper Control. What's up, Mouse? And I'll see you for the next video. Mouse in the house.